There she is. It's old Jason Shea from from Boats and Homes. You want to buy a house? Hire this guy. Don't worry about getting him to take your fishing. I can put you on fish and <laughs> houses. Let's go catch them. He hammered that thing too. You want me to flip them in here or do you want me to net them? Got a real stupid mouth on her. Oh, that felt good. Yeah, that's. It really is. <clears throat> that fish hit way harder than its size. Way harder than how big it is, bro. I mean, that's that's a 17-inch fish and almost three pounds. <laughs> I'd like to see what gobies would do. Um, hit that recording button on the top of it. It's that little red circle. That might be 19 inches. <laughs> Right at that crack in that wall. Yeah, right at 19. Skinny though, dude. Super skinny. Yeah. Yeah, that's strange. Looks post spawn. Look at that tail. Like something took a bit out of it, a bite out of it. Took a bit out of it. Sometimes I can't talk. Sometimes I can't talk. 
Yeah, it's got something going on. Something had it in its mouth for sure. Because it's got marks on the other side of it too. Maybe. I had a podcast yesterday with Fishing the DMV. They were interviewing me, asking about the, you know, oh, I knew that was going to happen. I saw it wake. It's another good one. That's actually another long ass fish, dude. That one might be 20. Come here, girl. What are you hiding under there for? Everybody wants to see you. Everybody thinks you're beautiful. Alright. Let's see how long you are, sweet pea. Oh, no, I was way off. 18. Skinny again, dude. Look how skinny it is. Got. No. So if I would have won the native big bass power out or like the, the overall event, yeah. that would have been an additional three thousand um, dollars. And honestly, dude, I had I had the fish hooked to probably win one or two more hours. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Damn. I mean, the pattern that I was fishing was was a big fish pattern, and, and honestly. Like Jason, you know how I sent you those spots and told you that this is my milk run, it never fails me? Yeah. My first five spots that I went to in the morning, I didn't catch a fish. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. And um, then I then I had that, that big one and short strike me right next to the boat. And whenever that happened, there was another one with it. Um, but when I had that that uh, that big one short strike me right next to the boat, I was like, "Wait a second, I'm not listening to the fish." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was cruising around to my spots and just kind of buzzing top water on my way to the spots. And as I was going to the spots, I was getting waked on by fish, but they weren't eating it. And that one came from the front tip of that that grass island and absolutely destroyed that plopper right beside the boat. And I was like, hold on, they're not behind shit anymore because, you know, two days prior they were behind shit when the river was up a half a foot higher, yeah, they but just the they just moved to the front side. Well, dude, I knew whenever, like when my first five spots didn't pan out, I'm like, this is not, this is not right something something's amiss here because like there's always fish there you know what i mean i'm like something something is not typical and i honestly thought after because i mean that took about an hour out of my morning you know run into those five spots and i i looked at it and i was like i'm willing to bet that somebody already has five to ten you know 15 or better inch fish so I'm like, I'm pretty far out of the running for the native. So after I caught that, I missed that big one right there beside the boat. I went around to the other side of that island and caught the 20 and a half. And I was like, okay. I'm like, I'm just going to run this pattern all day because it's a big fish pattern. And it worked. Um, I didn't catch a fish. The rest of the day, I didn't catch a fish under 17 inches. There's a fish, small one. Um, yeah. I didn't know if it was just she was fucking the tournament director. 
No, I mean she she um How? No. <laughs> Underneath the fingernail. Oh. Need pliers? I'm going to once finger I can once it stops burning. Oh shit. Dip it in the water. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Not a fence that's gonna happen. That I'll end up end up losing finger. That'll clean it right up. Yeah. But I also put a trailer hook on this one too, so if they come up and swipe at it like they just did the last two, I'm getting caught. If it wasn't dirty, I wouldn't be throwing white blades. But I feel like the white blades really glow in that dirt. But yeah, I would if it was if it was clean, I would certainly be throwing silver blades, but I actually picked these out of the box this morning before I left just because they had white blades. There he is. Oh. Uh -huh. 